As the elk slowly migrate back up into the Yellowstone National Park, they pass through different wolf territories. By May, they reach the high plateau in the interior, where new, rich grasses and mild temperatures set the stage for a new season and a new drama. As night falls, the females slip away from the herd and prepare to welcome a slew of newcomers into the world and a whole new set of vulnerabilities. Daybreak reveals the yearly miracle. Overnight, Yellowstone country has become a massive nursery. The calves can stand within hours, but they won't be able to run with the herd for two weeks, so their mothers keep them apart and keep a close eye on them. The predators sense a new opportunity. There are young prey animals everywhere. And the predators have their own hungry young to feed. But the hunters need to choose the hunted carefully. Bison calves would seem ripe for the picking, but they've already joined the herd and are protected by giants. Elk calves are smaller and still don't have the protection of the herd. Om knows that water means safety from almost all predators, but the little calf also knows that he's no match for raging meltwater. But mother soon realizes her mistake. She heads back across the river. Fortunately for her, her calf has his own defense that foils the wolf. He, like all newborn elk calves, has almost no scent, and even the keen-nosed canine can't smell him. It's a brilliant defense, allowing the mother to wander and graze while her camouflaged baby hunkers down and disappears into the landscape. 